In this video, I'm gonna explain the process of eutrophication to help you with paper two, or it could come up on paper three. So where do we start? First of all, we start with leaching. Now, leaching is a particular problem when chemical fertilizers are used because chemical fertilizers are far more soluble in water and they quickly dissolve. And that means the mineral ions can make their way into bodies of water. And that's all leaching is. Mineral ions make their way into bodies of water. They run off into bodies of water. Now, why is that a problem? Well, if the mineral ion concentration increases in a pond or a lake, you're gonna get algal bloom, okay? Particularly if you've got a really high concentration of say nitrate ions in the water, algae are gonna grow rapidly. And you might have seen it when you're out and about, you see this kind of green layer of algae on the surface. Now, if you get rapid growth of algae, that algae on the surface of the water is gonna block light to plants below, okay? And then you can also say, just in case it's worth a mark, plants die due to lack of photosynthesis. Because if the algae above is blocking the light, the light isn't penetrating to the plants below, they can't absorb light, they can't photosynthesize, they can't produce enough glucose, so those plants die. You could also say algae die. The algae might start to die as well because there are so many algae plants that they're in competition, right? So you can get death of plants and death of algae, but you're gonna have lots of dead plants in this pond or lake. Then what's gonna happen? Well, because you've got lots of dead plants, you're gonna see an increase in the number of saprobionts. Now these saprobionts are decaying the dead plants. And it is important that we say saprobionts and not just decomposers. Um, that's a key word that they are looking for. I suppose it differentiates between GCSC and A-level biology. So you've got an increase in the number of saprobionts. They're decaying the dead plants. But remember the saprobionts are respiring. So they respire aerobically. And obviously, because you've got more saprobionts, you're going to get an increase in aerobic respiration. And finally, this uses oxygen. Aerobic respiration uses oxygen. So concentration of oxygen in the water decreases. So any other animals, for example, fish, it might be small little animals or invertebrates, anything that requires oxygen is gonna to struggle to get enough oxygen for its own aerobic respiration because the concentration of oxygen in the water has been depleted by the increase in saprobionts and their respiration. Um, and that's it. This is the story of eutrophication. Start with leaching, go through in this order, it's quite a nice one because as soon as you get algal bloom, the rest of it makes sense. Kind of acts as a cue, doesn't it? Each point kind of reminds you of what's gonna happen next. Hope this video has been useful. Let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover.